Uh, in this tutorial, we look at uh, what are nodes in uh, finite element methods and which criteria do we use in locating them with some examples. Now, uh, difficult, uh, basically, uh, the interesting feature of finite element method is uh, discretization. That is, we have a, a complex scenario. Let's even say we have um, just like a truss. And then uh, we are saying in this truss, eh, a truss structure, it have got a number of members, basically. Okay. Then to be able to analyze this, eh, we break it down. We break it down to uh, different elements. So we have that element one and two. Uh, I'm not one, just, just I'm calling it element one. Then we have another one. So this one, we treat them individually. Okay. So this is what we are calling to or we are referring to as a discretization and so on and uh, and so forth. So as you can see, there is something that I'm doing. Okay. There is where there is connection between different element so if i take like the this individual element here i do like this so there is this part and this this node and this node so you can see there is a where the nodes they become occur naturally yeah? so we want to see how which criteria do we use in locating the nodes and uh, what are these nodes so basically by definition or by what you have just seen here is that uh, nodes eh? these are when once we do the discretization discretization is the breakdown eh? or the breakdown you can refer to it as a breakdown but uh, the technical term is discretization so we are left with the from a structure we become with some interconnected members we are left with the interconnected uh, element interconnected points so nodes are uh, point of interconnection between elements so we are saying nodes uh, this is a point of interconnection between elements and nodes are very important. You'll be hearing them uh, so many times in finite element analysis. Okay. So this is all that we are talking of. That once we subdivide our system into many smaller bodies or finite elements, eh, they will be interconnected at two common points. Now, this is when we are talking of uh, 1D or linear element. So when we come to 2D, of course, they can be connected at boundaries or services. But let's just stick with first 1D when we are talking of point of interconnection between elements now nodes are very important because one thing that you have to realize is that um, for our case here like for a structure we need to determine let's say like a displacement at one point here or uh, at another point so this, what we are referring to as the degrees of freedom so displacement or other degrees of freedom are calculated at the nodes of element and we said values are exact only at the nodes any other point at any other point we do what you call interpolation and we give an example, we say like, if we are to approximate whatever it is, whether it's the area of the or the circumference of a circle uh, using some uh, uh, linear element. Eh? So as you can see from this, eh, the value is exact just at the node. That's where it touches. This is the node where it touches the, the, the circumference. So any other point, displacement at any other point eh, is just an approximation. Okay, so values are exact at the node. So the others here, any other point we want to get the quantity, which are we call the degree of freedom, we do the interpolation. Okay. And of course, you know the degrees of freedom, these are the fundamental variables that are calculated during analysis. And these are different ways that uh, our structure can deform. And for us, we have been talking about um for for a trust, we talk of what displacement and so on and so forth. Now we are saying uh, we have seen what are nodes. Uh, which criteria do you use in uh, in uh, defining our nodes? And we are going to do this with an example. Let's just have a simple uh, case of a of a bar fixed on one edge. So we, we we consider a bar that is uh, fixed on this edge, and then this is a bar. It's apply a load is applied here, load P. So one of the thing naturally you find like we we can describe this into one element. We have node uh, one here, okay, node one, and then node two. Okay, so one of the key feature or one of the criteria that you use in locating node is one eh, at the point of uh, at the support. Eh? Okay, at the support, that is one of the features that we use or or, or uh, one of the way that we do in locating the node. Two is the point of load application. Okay, the point of load application is another criteria that you use in locating the node. For us, who have been, for those who have been following our lecture, I believe this should be lecture number three that we have just had last. Uh, Last two weeks, eh, we had a, an example where you have a bar 
typical like the one above and then the load was applied at this location okay load was applied at this location okay kind of at the middle and then uh, we had a, a, a structure like that we are determining something like the what is the uh, deflection or what is the elongation of this bar or something like that eh? so the first criteria tells us that we can have a node at this point a fixed per support number two we have we'll have we are going to have a node at this point of course okay so what we are saying is that we have node one here node two here okay and uh, we just use this point to point here we have uh, this is yeah this is node one here we have a node here one and two and then of course now here at the uh, free head number three then we had a case whereby we had the same bar but then there was another smaller bar attached there and then load was applied here so the other criteria of course we say the node is that of course basically at the head you know node is also at the head of a bar uh, of, of an element so we say head of an element we can define as a node otherwise if you do not if you just have a let's say an element like that eh? and then we say one node is here then we leave it at that you will not be able to define or to uh, to define the extent of this of this element so the other criteria is at the head of the element that should you have a node usually we find like uh, most, most of the point of head of the element you may have a point of load application in number three is that where we have change in geometry change in geometry okay change in geometry so when the geometry changed here we had node one here because of the support then we specified a node two there because of the change in geometry and a node three okay and you see node three here we still have a, a load application if you had a load application here at this point then you would have had a node three and then it would have become node four so it's as easy as that and as you can see I'm just using an using an illustration of one family or one type, one classification of element because we have many families. Eh? One of the, the things that you have to understand is that uh, we have uh, what you call linear uh, element. We're going to see uh, later on why linear. Linear is because of the order of interpolation that we do. We use a linear polynomials. Eh? Um, like for a truss, you find like uh, you just have two notes there. Even if the degrees of freedom may be two, but we are talking of a linear. We can use a linear interpolation or linear equation to uh, interpolate that. Um, <clears throat> we are going to see maybe for 2D plane element, 3D plane element, whereby like 2D plane element, let's say like something like a shell, you have node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4, but this is one element. We are defining an element, eh? okay? Where now the other element is interconnected here, this is a service. But as, as much as... Uh, we, we we for a linear element 1d element uh, a linear element eh, we stick with this criteria they will help you in simplifying for manual calculation where you locate your nodes so i leave it at that but before i i, I leave eh, i would just like to to give you a, a small uh, i don't know whether to call it a, a charge or, or so on eh? <laughs> uh let's let's assume we have let's assume we have uh a bar like this okay then it's fixed on this head then load is applied and we say the udl but it's a bar so the load is applied actually we have a point load here and then we assume there is uniformly distributed load attached here q kilonewtons per meter so you see the load is uniformly distributed so how do we locate or how do we discretize this element so think about that and then let me get it or let me get your views in the comment section so until the next uh, tutorial bye bye continue liking subscribing sharing what we are doing in this uh, channel thank you